school board has been told on numerous occasions, I think, that we want to preserve the historical assets of the township, if at all possible. And we've seen nothing but refusal to bend on this at all or to look at realignment of the playing fields. Um, are you telling us you have no intention of negotiating with anyone about improving and saving, improving the design and saving the historical aspects? Well, who do you mean by anyone? With the township or? Well, we've asked you to negotiate with us, with the EAC, with um, the other people who uh, adjoin your land and um, you've resisted that continuously, as I understand it. So we're, we're happy to go through a process with an empowered government agency, but, and I think I hinted at this, and probably I was a little too discreet in how I did it, but to ask us on behalf of the government and the powers imposed upon us by you uh, as a municipality, to satisfy third-party people, whether it's an individual or whether it's a nonprofit, in effect, that's a delegation of your power to a third party. And it sounds to me, and I don't want to get too legal, but many of you are lawyers, it's exactly what we don't want. We don't want a government body to tell us as a entity that's trying to develop for the betterment of the citizens that we have to satisfy third parties who may or may not have goodwill, we presume they do, who may have their own interests and priorities. Uh, they may well want assets that we as fiduciaries have acquired at the public trough, and now we would have to give them to third parties. The legalities of that make my head spin. Now, in terms of being sensitive to the historic aspects, which is a legitimate request, we've worked hard and we will continue to work hard to find ways to save historic fabric whether or not they're on an inventory, whether they've only become important because now we're trying to do something. But we have a priority, which is education of students. That is a fiduciary duty. We like to think, perhaps I'm mistaken, that the education of youth is as important a civic value as buildings that may or may not be on the inventory or a blade of grass, which may or may not be under the control of third parties, private parties, homeowners. So we have a job to do. We've spent money and we will continue to spend money for the public good. We like to think that we should align the interests of the township with the interests of the school district so that we're all prioritizing what we need to prioritize to advance. If stumbling blocks and obstacles are placed in front of us, you know, we're not trying to just build an Ikea here, which is a client of mine, so maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's not a shopping center. These are playing fields for the youth. They are the future. They are what we all care about. It seems to me if there's an insensitivity perceived regarding the historic fabric, I think that certain people in this township have been insensitive to the priorities and needs of the school children. Perhaps if we take a step back and try to collaborate and try to cooperate rather than putting obstacles, we might well get there. So I hope that answers the question or at least expresses my view. Many of us on the commission feel we have responsibility to the township and to the children to preserve heritage and that that's part of a good education as well. And um, we're trying to work with you and some of us are feeling you will not work with us.